The United Nations Security Council is convening Sunday to consider a resolution that would urge Shiite Houthi rebels to step down in Yemen. U.N. led peace talks have failed since a Houthi takeover ousted President Abed Rabo Mansar Hadi and his cabinet last month. Diplomats say the resolution falls short of evoking Chapter 7 of the UN. Charter allowing for military enforcement. Since seizing power in January, the Houthis have dissolved parliament and set up their own ruling body. They say they are carrying out a revolution against corrupt officials and economic ruin. The president and his ministers remain under rebel house arrest. On Saturday, tens of thousands of Yemenis protested against the country's takeover by the Shiite Muslim Houthi movement. In the central town of Ib, Houthi gunmen fired on protesters, wounding four of them. In southern Yemen, in mountainous al Baida province, heavy fighting has continued between Houthi rebels and Sunni tribesmen, many of whom are allied with local al-Qaeda groups. Security sources say at least 26 people have been killed since Friday, 16 Houthis and 10 tribesmen. Yemen shares a long border with Saudi Arabia, the world's top oil exporter, and also has been fighting against al-Qaeda in the Arabian Peninsula. The United States has supported the campaign against al-Qaeda with drone strikes, missile attacks by unmanned aircraft targeting militants. Diplomats' exodus from Yemen continued Saturday. The Netherlands, Spain and the United Arab Emirates are the latest countries to shut down embassy operations in Sana'a and evacuate their diplomats. Saudi Arabia, Italy, Germany, the United States, France and Britain previously have closed their embassies in Yemen.